Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. The very first thing I want to make sure that this given quadratic equation is in a standard form. That means ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero and that indeed is in a standard form. The next thing I want you to identify its coefficients. Well, x squared is same as 1x squared. That means a equals to 1 is our coefficient. Here, our b equals to 576. And c is a big number. c is negative 306. Two, five. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. Just keep in your mind that this is the one we will be using. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x equals to minus and b is 576 plus minus b is 576 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 30625 everything is divided by 2 times a is 1 let's simplify this one so i can write negative 576 plus minus in this square root of 576 square equals to 33. Be careful with these calculations. You can use a calculator if you wish to. 33.1776. And over here on this side, negative and negative become positive. And when you multiply four times this big number, that's going to give you 122,500 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. Let's simplify more. Negative 576 plus or minus. When you add these two big numbers, we're going to get 45. 4276 divided by 2. So far so good. And the next step is I want you to take care of this radical part. This is a complete perfect square. So this could be written as by the way negative 576 plus or minus 674. The square root of this number is 674 divided by 2. X turns out to be this much. Now our next step is I want you to split these two signs. There are two positive and negative sign. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put this one as negative 5 76. First, I'm going to pick the plus sign 674 divided by 2, and the other side negative 576 minus 674 divided by 2. Let's simplify some more. So, this on the top is going to give you if you subtract this thing going to give you 98 divided by 2 that means x turns out to be 49 is one of your solutions and on this side this when you add them that's going to give you negative 12 50 divided by 2 that is going to give you x equal to negative 6 20 Five, as you can see. Thus, 49 and negative 625 is our solution set and that is our answer. And here is your assignment. 
Can you do the very same problem by factoring technique? You can take your time, no rush. You can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.